During these days before Christmas, the church gives us some prayers that are known as the O antiphons, because each one begins with the word O, and then a title for the Messiah, which is followed by a verse that's inspired by the prophet Isaiah. They show up in the Alleluia verse at Mass, and also in the antiphon that accompanies the singing of the Magnificat of Mary at Vespers, or evening prayer. Hi, I'm Father James Kubicki. And I mention Vespers because today the O antiphons at Mass and at Vespers are different. Here's the one that appears in the Church's evening prayer. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Christ is the dawn. He is the light, the sun that brings the dawn. We live in a world of darkness, of error and sin, of violence and hatred. God did not create the world this way, but humanity, rejecting God's ways, has allowed darkness to cover the earth. Only Christ can transform ignorance and error into the light of truth. Only Christ can take away sin and its effects of violence and hatred. He is the light that our world so desperately needs, and so we beg him to come. Isaiah prophesied as follows in the first words of chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. Then Isaiah continues a few verses later with this further promise. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. We turn to Christ, the Prince of Peace, and let go of sin. We don't want to hold on to anything that separates us from him and that will be burned as fuel for flames.